If you use Clothe 3 d you may have needed to remove the underwear from your avatar, which may sound a little perverted, but depending on your design, it's like wearing the right bra or no bra, depending on the top you're wearing. Interestingly enough, I had a lot of problems finding an updated YouTube video that showed how to do this easily. So that's what I'm showing you today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So first off, why in the world would you want to remove the avatar's underwear? Because if you do, the avatar is completely naked and anatomically correct. And it can just make for a very uncomfortable moment if you're at work and someone happens to walk past and glance at your screen. But sometimes it's necessary for your design to look correct on the avatar. Take for instance, something like this. As you can see, because of the cut of the top, it does not look good if she's wearing the default underwear. So that underwear has got to go. Now, this seems like it should be a very simple task. And it seems like the answer should already be out there in a YouTube video. And it is, sort of. The issue I had is that all the videos I was finding had you opening the avatar skin in Photoshop, deleting the underwear, and then refilling that area with the skin texture. Now, it's very possible that what I'm about to show you didn't exist in earlier versions of Clo, but it does now. And this is so much easier. So here's how to do it. In the 3D window, select any part of the avatar. Then in the property editor, select the style configurator icon in the body styling section. Besides changing the underwear, you can customize various physical traits of the avatar like hair, skin, eyebrow color, as well as the arch and shape of the eyebrow, eye and lip color. And once you choose a color, you could also choose the blending mode, which if you're familiar with Photoshop, you know that the blending modes will change the look of the color based on the mode you choose and the color it's overlaying. Now the option we came in here to change is the underwear. The first option is the drop down to decide whether you want the avatar covered or nude. So for this design, we'd want to choose nude so that the underwear doesn't show when the avatar is wearing the top. And not only can you remove the underwear, but you can also customize the color of the underwear. And this can be a cool feature if you're designing something that's a little sheer and you want your avatar to wear nude underwear. And if the default nude is a little different than the skin tone of your avatar, you can change the color here to match the nude of your avatar. Also note that if the default colors still aren't what you want, you can also click this last box to bring up the color picker and mix or eye drop the color you want. Once you're happy with your choices, click OK. I hope that's made this task easier for those of you looking for this. If you design swim, intimate apparel, strapless or perhaps low cut dresses or tops like this one, even garments where there are cutouts or string closures at the hips, this is a big deal to know how to do. It's not the most obvious function in Clo, but it seemed like there should have been an easier way to remove underwear, easier than what I'd been seeing. So I'm glad this function does exist. Thanks for watching today's video. If you need to learn Clo 3D and you want a clear, organized roadmap to get you up and running on the program, tap the link in the description to sign up for my class. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.